The new wife of Kanye is not Kim Kardashian. Surprised friends call Bianca Sensori, the rapper's Australian-born bride, quiet, normal girl, Kanye West's new wife Bianca Sensori is quiet and normal. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. Kanye West's new spouse's family requested security after it arose the Kim Kardashian clone surged down the path and said, I do, to the rapper in a confidential service this week. In a recent interview, Angelina, Bianca Sensori's sister, stated, it's very exciting news for both my sister and the family, but we choose to have some privacy for the time being. Alicia Sensori, a relative, added that the family was, super happy for them both. According to RadarOnline.com, the news that 45-year-old Kanye wed Yeezy employee Bianca in secret in Beverly Hills on January 12 shocked Hollywood. The troubled star got married just a few weeks after getting a divorce from the mother of his children. The relatively unknown Bianca became a global sensation as a result of the news. Presently, RadarOnline.com can uncover more about the 27-year-old. Sensori was listed as one of the minds behind Yeezy Home, West's offshoot architectural firm tasked with building social housing projects, in an unpublished article on the website Hypebeast. She went to the prestigious Cary Baptist Grammar School in Kew, Australia, which is in the eastern suburbs of Melbourne. As per Sensori's LinkedIn profile, she moved on from the tip-top school in 2012 proceeding concentrating on an unhitched male and expert of engineering at the esteemed College of Melbourne. Simultaneously, she sent off a side endeavor called Nylon's Gems, which she kept on managing while she considered. In a meeting for ID in 2016, West's new lady examined the trouble in adjusting a thriving mark and full-time study. I attempt to keep my examinations and Nylon's genuinely discreet. She stated, I separate them so they can grow separately. I'm always thinking of both and inspired by both. Every day, I do little things for Nylons, like organizing something or going to take pictures so it can grow while I'm still studying. When it comes to designs, I try to get it made as soon as I get an idea, so that, even if it sits there for a couple of months, I can release it without being constantly under the pump.